Professor Anton had a video called uh, had, had a recent very, very recent video called God is a Feeling. Um, he was talking about the idea of spirituality um, coming from a feeling of God. Now, I guess what I want to discuss here is I guess I don't really want to go into his arguments very much, but I want to just I really want to discuss the idea of the universe being a feeling. Um, this comes from a discussion with a person named A A A A A A A One, um, who I find to be quite the jerk, um, because I was talking about how um, people, because people come towards you know believing in God because of feeling, because of having feeling of a spiritual um, manifestation, or a fe not, not, not really a manifestation, that's a bad word, a spiritual entity which is, you know, working in them. And that is why I think people g g grow to have faith and people grow to believe in God even though they don't have scientific or phil philosophical or... Um, justification of, of any kind of this god and, and are thus holding a dogma um as a, a as a atheist would say that is not my view that is their view but what was basically being discussed here and i, I was just, i was just discussing this also is that god is that god you know can often cause this, this sort of feeling which leads to um a sort of belief in him and because of their sort of a feeling of spirituality and his being there um, and thus leading to a faith and I sort of sort of said that and then this a a a a a one guy responds is the he said it are the heavens above a feeling now first of all I think you're quite the dick this person is quite the dick because what are you thinking when the person says the heavens above? Um, person can be ref that person can be referring to the the uh, heaven of God. You'd be referring to the stars. You'd be referring to the platonic heaven for God's sake, and you could be referring to the universe or whatever. And I said, "What do you?" And I, and I thought that you were that he was saying the heaven of God. And I, you know, responded. And then he was like, he was like, he was like, just just to clarify, by the heavens I mean the universe. And then I was like, well, by the universe do you mean the stars, or do you mean down here where all all these things live, where this pen lives, and we're down here with us? And then he was like, and then he's, he's a dick, and he said, for, I'm going to re repeat for the last time, and if you don't answer, it's going to show how, how disingenuous you are. And just to be sure, just be, you know, just to clarify, I don't give a fuck how disingenuous you think I am or whatever. But I just think you're quite the dick, that's all I'm, I'm going to say. But this person said, is the universe a feeling? And I said, yes. Because I think it is a feeling. As an idealist, yes. I would say that the universe is, in a way, a feeling. And this is just because I feel like we don't have... We don't have a empirical or scientific justification of anything that we're seeing. Even though we have... Uh, language and intersubjectivity and all that stuff we have all that uh i we don't have any sort of ju justification for our believing that this, things like this pen exists we don't have justification for that however um we have consciousness of we have phenomenologically intentional consciousness and uh we are we have feelings of you know i have I'm using the five senses to apprehend this pen and you know and you know all that all that stuff but and i i guess 
it exists for me, it's there for me, I'm conscious of it, and it sort of is, you know, going back because I'm conscious of it, and it's there for me because of my intentional consciousness of it. But, uh, I guess why I think the, the universe is itself a feeling is because it, it does have this uh, noetic and nomadic intentionality. Um, it might be phenomena, it might be, it might be real, it, real in the physical, optical sense, it might be all those things, I don't know, but it feels like it's there. The reason I don't, the reason I'm not a full-blown anti-realist is because to me that that pen feels, and, you know, not, not just by feeling it like this, but by, it feels like through all of my senses, you know, that, that it's there. It feels to me like it's there because of my intentional consciousness and because of, uh, because of, you know, everything that, that, that my consciousness entails and all that stuff. I feel like it's there. And which is why I, you know, this is why this is, this is not, none of this is a fuzzy dream. It's not a fuzzy, you know, uh, hallucination. It, it feels clear and vivid and very just there for me. And I'm, but what I'm saying is I'm thinking a lot about how Searle's phenomenology because that's where I get most of these ideas. Because like he said, to the things themselves to the things that we're seeing themselves, whether, whether they be phenomena or whatever, or whether they be real, physically, ontically real, whatever they are, let's go to, lo to those things. Because these things, whatever they are, they make me feel like certain things are there, they make me feel like, you know, they feel to me a certain way, and I'm conscious, and I'm intentionally conscious, conscious of those things, and therefore they feel in a certain way, feel a certain way to me, and I feel, you know, a certain way about them because I feel like they really are there. Which is why I feel like the universe is a feeling. The universe is, to me, it, it you know, it, it is. Because there is, like, I'm just going to go a bit into Noesis and Noema here. Um, because we have the object, we have the meat, the real content, and we have, we have the object content, you know, because when I see this, I'm thinking, I, we have the object there, the object, what, what I think, what I think is the object, and I have the meaning content or the you know the sense content which makes you know which makes me understand what this is and what all the supposed you know properties is or what this supposed 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 trope is if it is a trope but uh um basically uh I lost my train of train of thought but I, I guess um to me because there is noesis and there's noma, when I look when I look at this pen, I create. You know whether I write with that or whatever I do with it, whether you know it's a family heirloom or whatever. Uh, there can be so many things of fe there can be so many feelings and thoughts and all these things attached to this thing, basing from its noesis and no noesis and noma. Uh, which is why I feel like, um, the universe is thus a feeling. To me, it is all a feeling, you know, because it, it, it's all it is. I mean, I guess I'm thinking from, from the idealist and the phenomenological thinker idea, or the these two perspectives, because I'm looking at it in a, in a skeptical sense as to its physical and ontical existence and in the phenomenological attitude I'm trying to distinct my thoughts trying to break my thoughts in half between the two because I'm sort of strong between these two epistemological uh, theories because I like them both but I want to you know stick to one but 
Um, this to me is just the reasons why the universe is a feeling. Whether there's real physical logical ex existences there, there is uh, there is of course design. Okay, now this is design in the Heideggerian's idea of design, uh, which is the entity that has ontological, uh, which is has um, ontico ontological priority, uh, which is you know the existential and ontological um, ex exemplification of the human existence. There is us, Heidegger. In uh, in this book, Heidegger shows that he shows he talks about being and a lot of a lot of that stuff. He talks about you know our uh, how our, our consciousness of time and he talked which you know a lot of that stuff and a lot of great stuff in there is you know further you know discussion about why we why we do exist and you know as is you know. In here, which is the Cartesian meditations, is not is not really necessary, necessarily a full critique of Descartes. It's mostly just a, you know, whatever. But I just, I mean, I feel like that we have pretty good philosophical and scientific evidence that we do exist as agents and subjects and as parties. We exist. But then the other, you know. And I think that we have feelings which stem from the noesis and noma of intentional consciousness um, that the universe is a feeling because we have we have this sense you know of this uh, phenomenological objectivity in, you know what which you know which is probably not the, which is not the best ter ter terminology but. With this, when reading this Cartesian meditation, you, you would you, you would we'd understand what is meant by phenomenological objectivity, um, not not ob objectivity in the uh, physical, empirical sense, metaphysical sense. But I guess um, because of that, because of how things appear for me. And they know this is a gnoma that is uh, it is um, with everything that I consciously apprehend, which is I think why there we get we create thoughts and feelings and emotions attached to objects and things and beings and all these things, which is why it is just a feeling. But I don't know. Um, I guess I'm gonna make this a response to P Professor Anton's video. God is a feeling, because I think this you know is a good thing to think about with you know when when reflecting upon phenomenology you know also but anyway i don't know this is probably just a rambling a useless rambling i have no idea